What's going on guys, Prostin Talk here, back again with another Wrestlemania review and I'm here to review the final Wrestlemania in this series, Wrestlemania 28. Um, I, in my opinion, I said Wrestlemania 27 wasn't like my favourite show, I didn't like Wrestlemania 27. Um, but Wrestlemania 28 was one of those shows that I actually enjoyed watching, it was like, kind of like Wrestlemania 26 or 24. like. It wasn't a bad show, you can say you can go back and watch it. It wasn't like a magnificent show or anything like that, but you would go back and see a couple of things like, you know, Punk and Jericho, or if it was Rock or Cena, or Taker and, um, <clears throat> Taker and Triple H and the Monero, uh, or whatever. So we had the opening for us when World Heavyweight Championship of the Nine, Daniel Bryan defending against Sheamus. And this was also the catapult of, of um, Dave Bryan losing at WrestleMania was a catapult of him gaining over and hugely gained some huge momentum over the next two years and he would also main event at WrestleMania. Um, but yeah, uh, Sheamus was with the broke, it only lasted 18 seconds so it wasn't really nothing in this match to be honest. Then we get to Cody Rhodes versus Big Show, I thought that this was a good feud going into 2010. And like I said before, that, that my fucking cat, my fucking cat just came in. Um, like I said before, I, I always thought that this feud was was a good feud for Cody Rhodes, and I, I said in my WrestleMania 27 review that I thought that Cody Rhodes should have been elevated a bit, a bit more. He was the guy, and they didn't push him, um, unfortunately, in his count, he's freezing. Um, but yeah, uh, and uh, Big Show gets to win with the choke slam. Then after that, we have um, the tag match. It's It didn't really matter at this point because the brand split wasn't a thing. They they got rid of it in the summer, but they wanted to know who was the perfect Teddy on SmackDown and John Laurinaitis, the executive vice president of Town Relations, and these people power Big Johnny. Yes, they had John Laurinaitis, and so they wanted to know who was the actual GM for both shows. So on the teams you had for Team Johnny it was Otunga, Ziggler, Henry, uh, Miz. Who else was on the team? Um, Swagger. Uh, I'm thinking for getting somebody. And then on Team Teddy, you had Booker, Kofi, Our Truth, Horns Woggle, Zack Ryder, Santino. I think that's everybody I named on that. Yeah. The, and um, at the end, basically, it comes up the two, the last two guys in the match is Zack Ryder and the Miz. And then Zack Ryder's going to woo, woo, woo. He's doing his whole brusky thing. And then um, Eve comes in and she's like, I want to do the woo, 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 and then she, she, she basically costs um, Zach Ryder in the match, he, hit, he wins with a skull crushing, um, the Miz hits him with a skull, skull crushing finale, gets the win, and team Laurinaitis, people power, is in charge of Raw and SmackDown, Big Johnny! Yeah, John Laurinaitis, um, is in charge of both Raw and SmackDown, after the match, you know, Team SmackDown are looking down and they're looking out of it, and like, and then, that, and then um, Eve just basically just low balls that rider, and that was it. And yeah, that was the end of that rider's push, unfortunately. Um, then we get to uh, Eve, and then speaking of Eve, we had Eve and Beth Phoenix versus Kelly Kelly and Marina Menounos. Um, this was a typical celebrity match. Um, the, the celebrity gets to win. Um, so that was about it. Um, it was a it was a decent build up I guess, but like it was, the match was nothing like to talk about. And then we had one of one of the best matches of the night, in my opinion, probably the best match of the night. Triple H versus Undertaker, end of an era. And I know you guys, what you guys saying? It did. It, it wasn't really technically end of end of an era because they faced off at the Super Showdown last year. But whatever, at the time it was end of the era, end of end of an era. And Shawn Michaels, the, spe the special guest referee, inside Hell in a Cell. Um, end of the attitude of the last three guys who were, you know, still wrestling, apart from Shawn Michaels at the time, who were, the last two guys who were still wrestling from the attitude era, in an Undertaker and in Triple H. And this match, you know, you had JR on commentary, and, you know, this match delivered, you had um, Undertaker, remember, uh, at 27, that Triple H was aggressive with Undertaker with the chair shots, but Taker this, this time, he was like, stay down, ugh, Ooh chill shots and stuff like that and and then you know Shawn Michaels super kicked um Undertaker then Triple H pedigrees 
uh, triple um, Undertaker. Then he goes for the one, two, kicks out. Oh my god! And after that, um, Taker picks up um, Triple H, t um, Team Stars, and gets the win. And at the end of the match, they have an embrace, which I thought was good. Um, so yeah. Then after that, we have. CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. One of my favorite features from, from 2012 was, was always the CM Punk Chris Jericho feud because you know when Jericho came back in 2012 and the Save Your World or whatever it was uh, promo package, <clears throat> um, that was you know you could tell that it was going to go for Jericho Punk and you know how basically Jericho is born, how his sister and his father were alcoholics and you know. Basically, Punk's gonna turn the other way and stuff. He's gonna become like them. Um, but this was a good match here. I mean, I would have gone for a Jericho win in my opinion, but seeing where they've gone now with it, and obviously the plan was gonna be Rock and Punk for Royal Rumble, then I, I understood the decision. Like they're gonna keep it on Punk and have this long title reign. Um, but yeah, it was a good match. CM Punk, if he got this qualified, also Jericho would win the match. Um, but uh, and oh, he would lose the belt as well. Um, so CM Punk gets the one with the with the Anaconda device. Then the main event is Rock vs Cena once in the last time. <coughs> twice, <coughs> twice, <coughs> twice in the last time. <coughs> Sorry guys, <sighs> twice in the last time. Rock vs Cena, main event in WrestleMania. Um, they had a good match. I won't say it was, it, it was a good main event. Um, you have Flo Rider out there. He was in for the Rock and Machine Gun Kelly for Cena. Um, you know, at the end of the match, Cena's doing the whole elbow thing and then he gets rock bottom one two three rock that's the win um and then obviously the year after Cena would get his win back at WrestleMania 29 so yeah so that's my review of WrestleMania 28 uh leave your thoughts on WrestleMania 28 in the comments and um yeah what do you guys think what has been what is my question is at the end of the series is what has been your favorite WrestleMania um to watch so yeah that's what you guys peace out